Hi, Julia. Hi, Jacob. Good to see you. <laughs> so we are just uh, at the final stage of yeah. the program committee meeting for abstract selection. selection. Yeah. So what's your impression? Yeah, well, two days of really hard work and very, very nice people, high level of science. And we really look forward to see the, the final output of these two days. Yeah, I fully agree. And I think it's, it's amazing to see uh, the, the number of abstract submissions yeah. that we had uh, yeah. this year, uh, well over 7,000. That's a, a new record <laughs> uh, for ECMID. Yeah. And uh, the abstracts also originate from uh, 120 countries. So really a global yeah. representation. What, what, did you, what did you think about uh, the, the main topics of the abstracts? Well, we received uh, large numbers of abstracts, as you said, and really covering uh, uh, very wide, very widely, uh, many, many aspects of uh, infectious diseases and clinical microbiology, so going from uh, clinical to basic science. So I uh, think that uh, there is uh, a lot of very, very nice and interesting material for, uh, for the next Congress. Um, specifically talking about some of these issues on a uh, hot topic really um, is uh, antimicrobial resistance and all the aspects related to that. So there is a very uh, high interest in uh, new drugs and uh, how to test resistance in that. And uh, we received also a lot of very, very nice uh, data uh, on uh, on uh, uh, resistance prevalence worldwide. So very, very big epidemiological studies also exploring uh, the, the genetic background of this resistance. So I think that the, the network that that will create will be will be very, very important. Yeah, I agree. And uh, I also noted that uh, there are two big topics which were sort of cross cutting um, this year, uh, one is genomics. I mean, we, yeah. we see uh, submissions about genomics for quite a few years now, but this year it seems to be quite explosive, uh, just popping up in, uh, in every category. So uh, we're going to have quite a few sessions uh, focusing on genomics, genomics for outbreak investigation, genomics for um, characterization of uh, of organisms, uh, the use of uh, uh, genomics uh, in, in One Health. So that's really exciting. And uh, also AI seems to be yes. picking up. Uh, uh, we, we saw quite a nice number of submissions uh, this yeah. year um, involving uh, AI in different aspects. So using AI for uh, uh, decision making in infectious diseases for surveillance, using AI uh, as an aid for diagnostics, perhaps uh, even replacing some of the <laughs> traditional microbiology. So uh, this is something that, that is uh, really, uh, I, I look forward to see. Yes, me too, you're absolutely right. Um, one, uh, one thing that, that also uh, surprised me a little bit uh, is that uh, over 10% of the submissions uh, were case abstracts and case series. Uh, we had last year 10 uh, such sessions fe featuring all presentations of cases and the rooms were full. I mean, uh, people really like those uh, uh, interactive case discussions. So we, uh, we actually um, devised uh, even more such sessions uh, this year. And I think the fact that uh, we saw so many uh, case submissions also testifies to uh, the, the, the needs and expectations of our delegates. So they, they are interested not only in, uh, uh, in the science and research, but also in discussing uh, clinical yes. cases and... Uh, daily, daily yeah. problem and daily challenge. Yeah, so I think uh, we are going to have uh, another amazing uh, Congress uh, here in Barcelona, uh, April 2024. 
and uh, I encourage each and every one of our community members to, to join us in three months. Uh, yes, we look forward to receiving all of you here in Barcelona.